Hey guys, this is old Jeff, Mysterious Oklahoma Facebook, and uh, basically I'm putting on here today two of my, I have to say one of my, or two of my favorite books. I've really gave more time to the reading of The Killing of Ned Christie by uh, Cherokee Outlaw by Bonnie Stallman Spear, and then I started really kind of getting interested in this, uh, I've read about him before growing up in Oklahoma, and you know, he just, you just, you don't hear about him as much. He's just off and on. I'm going to say it. I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly. But it's Apostle Yehola. And this one says Yeholo. And the Loyal Muskogee. And, but you know, you might not know him. We'll talk about Apostle Yehola first. He's the one where they say is there were three famous battle sites here in Oklahoma. The Battle of Round Mountain over around, mm, I'd say more towards, I believe it to be, my opinion, around the Walnut Creek area, around Keystone and that stuff, where the old Fort Arbuckle is, that area, they say it's further west. I, I don't think so. Um, there's a couple of reasons I'm, I'll probably try to prove later on. When I get my Jeep back, get it running, uh, and get out about, these are probably things I'm going to research on my own time. And, of course, the Cherokee and Insane Asylum I stumbled upon, too. But enough about that right now. Apollo Yehola was this Creek guy. An Indian, he wasn't a war chief, he wasn't anything, I think he was kind of forced into the chief's position. But he's more like a medicine man and just a great speaker. But this guy, you know, you grow up thinking, oh, he, wow, three famous Civil War battles. And I've, I know where pretty exactly most of them are. One's right, not too far from my house, the, the Battle of Chusto Talasa, which is the uh, Battle of Caving Banks or Horseshoe Bend. That's right by my house. And... Uh, I know, the, I know the exact location of that place. And then there's Chustanala where they said they were defeated and he went on up into Kansas. But Apollo Yehola, the more and the more I really delved into it and then I believed, in my opinion, and I found this book which I think says it all. It, was, it wasn't a battle, it was the flight to Kansas. I think they're basically running for their lives. He didn't want to fight. You, the more you read the book and everything, you could tell he just, you know, like anybody else, he, if you're backed into a corner, of course you're going to fight your life. And it, it, I, I think the real thing was it wasn't really Civil War things. It was, you know, he was a loyal to the Union and all that. And you see all of that got him, even whether it, which other side, no, neither one backed him. And then the Confederates, of course, defeated him. I think it's used to Nala pretty much. And they sneaked on up into, slipped on up into Kansas. And it, it was horrible. I mean, you know, as far as the side, they were just trying to live their lives and get away from all this. And it's called the Bloody Trail pretty much going up that way. They fought hard and everything, and they were, you know, fighting basically for their lives and not to be captured or turned into slaves. But pretty much this Apotheohola, he was an interesting, very interesting person, great speaker. It's sad the way that it ended. But, it, you know, that, that time period was not good. And the killing of Ned Christie, I like Ned Christie because they call him a Cherokee outlaw, but even my opinion and a lot of other people's, I'm sure, this book's pretty right on. It was basically set up and framed. As you read the book, it's just too... It just lays it out there. I mean, she lays out the old paperwork and everything. You read it, this lady does. It's great. My wondering is why they don't do movies about these guys. Ned Christie, Cherokee Outlaw, or Apothe Yehola. But I guess it really maybe it basically depends on who you kill. They didn't kill anybody famous or anything like that. Ned Christie did, of course. They blamed the, him for Dan Maples, which he was framed. The more you read the book, he said he was just set up. And, of course... Uh, he just that time period, and a lot of people didn't like him. It's kind of like the Robin Hood thing turning into an outlaw, and then, then they can kill you like a wolf. To me, so these are two great books I recommend. Old Jeff recommends these. That's what I'm doing right now while I'm waiting on my uh, Jeep to be fixed and setting on my duff. Or I hope y'all are doing all right. I haven't done too many uh, urban legends or any tall tales or anything like that. But I hope to get out there and do that. But while the while I'm doing this, they need to make two good movies out of here. Here you go. These ones I've been seeing lately, lately out are just dull. Come on, do something good here. How about the guy from Thunderheart doing getting a hold of these movies right here? Come on, Paul Yaholo or the Killing of Ned Christie, and, and do a real, do it accurate. But uh, choose to Talasa, choose to Nala, and the and the Battle of Round Mountain. Those weren't battles. Those are just fighting for their lives to me. So. Uh, here it is, and uh, as bright as Apothea Hollow was, you just couldn't, can't depend upon, you know, 
the government, in a sense. was so what he was doing, waiting for backup, and he never got it. So, uh, they're both good books. That's it. That's what I'm doing. Thought I'll put this video out here and give my book recommendations. I'll always give book. I'll be all the while. I'm going to give book and re DVD recommendations on things that I research and help you on your journey. Hope you're having a great day. As always, I am uh, waiting on my Jeep, waiting for that brand new motor, and waiting to go on the journey. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.